Hey, it's Ken Gaddy with YouTube channel GameBits, embarking upon episode 2 of Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker for the Nintendo Wii U. Hey, it rhymes. So this is what happens after you rescue Toadette. So this is actually right back where we started. This is exactly how episode 1 started. But we already got this started, didn't we? And Wingo took it away, and then we recaptured it, reclaimed it, returned it. Fascinating. More Wingo. This is like an alternate dimension, a parallel timeline. And this time Toad captures the star. Oh, Wingo. Oh, Toad. Caught in the net, and off he goes. Captain Toad 2! It's the sequel, already! They knew it would be so popular, they packed the sequel in with the original. Brilliant! The captain gets toad-napped, or the toad gets captain-napped. Either way, it's fascinating. Shoot, scoot, slopes. Let's give it a go. Of course, it has to be pink, because she's a girl. Grr. Okay, so this is completely different from Toad's first level. Fascinating. And I forget. Oh, yeah, turn the spin wheel. So I, uh... Here we go. Oh. Okay. Ow! Hey, I'm playing with my slide. Don't attack me. That's rude. Here, I'm gonna kill your brethren to make up for it. I'm violent like that. That's how I roll. Because I am Toadette! Fear me. Oh, missed some coins. Got more coins. Bam! So I can't go back up there, can I? So I'm going to have to do this level probably a couple of times to find everything. I suspect I've already gone past the point of return for some of the items. Oh no, see? Now I can't get that one. I needed to get that charging chuck to break through those blocks before I killed him. Now it's too late. Poop. Yes, that's right, I said it. Poop on a family channel. I can't fall down there. Nope. Ha! Thought you trapped me, huh? Nope. In fact, you are the one who are trapped. Is our noun verb agreement way overrated? Oh, and then I died. With a pink skull mushroom, which is just all kinds of terrifying. It's all the worst things in the world put together. Alright, so let's try this. Oh no! I did it again. Alright, let's go this way. Ah! And now let's go back up. Yay! Ha! Ah, can't get me! Okay. How do I do this in a way that won't get me killed? Like this. Oh, see, there's one of the diamonds. And there's a shy guy who will not be bothering me anymore ever again. That's right. Alright, so I want it to go like that. Now I just go like this. Uh, and why was that the second diamond? Have I already missed one? Oh, poop! I didn't mean for it to disappear off the face of the earth. That's rather extreme. I just meant for it to go away. I wanted to knock his helmet off. Okay, definitely gonna have to do this level yet again. <laughs> Climb down the ladder instead of just falling. Very polite. And let's see what's underneath the wheel before we turn it. That's turn it, not turnip. And remember, I can zoom in. I rarely do so, but it is an option that's available to me. Out. In. Out. I feel like Grover. Near. Far. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go up the ladder. Ah! I was stuck. 
I was trying to move my little toadette, and I could not. Okay, so where is the diamond that I'm missing so far? It's seemingly not over there. Oh, what if I had to chuck charge into the tree? Just a little... Uh, not again! This is really making the game hard. Here, hit the tree. Is that not how your power works? No, you don't... Oh, gosh! That's foolish of you. And I can't tap the tree to make anything happen? Okay. As you can tell, these levels and these videos are going to be a little bit longer than you may be used to in this Let's Play thus far. Because it's harder. And bigger. And there's more to explore. Which is fun. Which means I'm getting my money's worth. Because... I paid for this game, which probably most YouTubers are doing, because Nintendo is notorious about being uncooperative with the press. So if you want to get a review copy of a game from Nintendo, good luck! It ain't happening. Not again. They did send me a game once. I think they may have sent me the original Smash Brothers, actually. Gosh darn it, for N64, back in 99, I was pleased as punch to have been acknowledged by Nintendo to the point that they would send me a game. I was already in, like, Flynn with Capcom, Konami, Activision, but Nintendo, they were a tough nut to crack. Even Sega, they sent me a Saturn to review, and then they let me keep it. The original agreement said that I would have to return it, and then uh, they never called me on to do so. Yes. Oh, is that all I got? Really? I really thought it would be more game-defining. Like, a diamond. Now I'm little again. I'm always little. I'm tired of being little. Because there are some cases where size matters. And this game is one of them, apparently. Eh. Okay, got a third diamond. Wow, how do I get all the way up there? That's a golden mushroom. How do I get that? Well, I'll have to figure that out another time. Because I have to do this level again. Because I am still missing a diamond. And I promised I would get all of them. Collected the gold mushroom. Yes, that is the bonus challenge for that level. And when I finish this level, I can then go on to the Stumper Sneak Around. But in the meantime, gotta do this again. Sorry to make you wait, guys. I know you've already been watching me play this level for like seven minutes. But I just, I have this drive to be perfect. I have to do it. So now I'm looking at all the angles. I figure out what I might have missed. I still feel like like there might be something down here. It feels like there has to be more than just coins down here. Doesn't that seem reasonable? And yet, that is all there is, because what else could I be missing? Oh, there it is. See? Now I can do a speed run and get to the end. Not really a speed run, but what I mean is I can ignore everything else and just focus on getting to the end. Get that bird to drop so he doesn't crash down on me when I'm trying to climb a ladder, like he is wont to do time and again. And I think maybe if I angle my fall, I can land on the golden mushroom? Why, yes. Let's do it. Shortcut. Wow. Wow. I almost had 150. I am going to have 150. 
Wee! All right, that was easier than the first several other times I played that level. Phew. 150. And a red crown. I'm awesome. Stumper, sneak around. I can only guess from the name of this level that I'm going to be sneaking around stumpers. Just a wild guess. No basis, no founding in reality whatsoever. Okay, so how do I get up there to get those coins? How do I get the P block? What happens if I tap these guys with my finger? Nothing. And I can't go that way. And have to walk across. Whoa! Okay. Now I can get those coins. And this is a key to what? Uh, that was tight. Can I climb with a key? No. Oh boy. Can I fall with a key? Yes. Where does the key go? There it is. Can I throw the key? Can I throw it up onto that ledge? No. I can't throw up keys, which sounds like an intestinal issue the likes of which I've never seen. One diamond. Actually, that intestinal issue will be pica, where you are inclined to eat whatever you can get your hands on. What did, did my key just disappear? Oh, the key is back where it came from. Fascinating. So that gives me a second chance to pick it up and put it somewhere else, I guess. There. Let's see, do I want to fall down there? Let's find out. I can go this way then. And fall right here. So I can get the star, but I don't want to. Not yet. I'm still missing two diamonds. And I gotta turn in the key. So let's get this diamond, because that's pretty apparent how to do so. Just like that. And now let's fall down here and get this. And that's the key. How far can I throw it? Fairly. Can I throw it to that ledge over there? Can I throw it? Can I? Yes. However, as we now know, it will disappear if I don't pick it up quickly enough. Okay, so now I'm here with the key. What does that do for me? There, just tapped that thing. Oh wait, I can't fall with the key? Wait, I, I could fall earlier with the key. Why can't I fall now? Huh. Oh. Well, that was not so bad a thing. Because now that plant will never bother me whatsoever. But, I want to go get my key. Not Mikey, like the character from the Goonies. It's a different game. No! Don't disappear. I'm holding it. I was holding that key. Why did it disappear? Grrr. Alright. Fall. Fall. Waterfall. Okay. Off to get the key again. Oh! Poop. You gotta wait for those things to stop moving the direction you want to go in. I'm fairly certain I'm doing this correctly. I think that's where I want it to go. I feel like I'm missing something here. But I can't fall down this way. Now I can? What? What evs? Huh. 
Huh. I haven't been over there yet. Oh, that's how you get to where the where the door is. Where am I? Here I am. Okay. But can I fall down to this ledge without getting the zoom in here? I need to Oh crap! I was trying to not get the star. I wanted to throw the key to that ledge over the way. Okay. Defeated all the piranha creepers. But I can only drop down on so many of them. This game is ramping up in the difficulty. This episode 2, Toadhead has gained the tough levels. Toad had it easy. I guess this is why Revolution 60 has a mode called Girlfriend Mode. It's the hardest mode in the game. It's super extra hard. Maybe this is easier than I've been making it out to be. Maybe I just need to go like this. Duh. All right, let's finish this. Chase the piranha plant. I could probably just jump down on him from here, right? If I had timed it correctly, yes, the answer is. If you do it wrong, no. There. Occam's razor. Chances are the simple solution is the correct solution. Ah, oh, sorry for all the wait. Anyway, level three. Minecart sunset rundown. It's a lot of compound words. There you go. And here we go. So I suspect I'll be using my gamepad screen to view where I want to throw vegetables, so you might not be able to see that part of the level, but you'll definitely be able to see their trajectory, if not my reticule. So, yep. Infinite vegetables. Whoa, this is going pretty fast. Uh-oh, now what? Oh! Oh, I missed a diamond. I saw it, though. So I know... I think I know where to get it next time. Wow, this is not easy. Oh, there's another diamond. Got it. There's a plant up there, too. Oh, I think I might have just gotten the diamond I missed earlier. Oh, there was a POW block back there that I missed. There's one. Yeah, and there's the third diamond. I got them all. Oh no, now what? Okay. Now I'm seeing the same thing you are. Still looking at the gamepad, though, just because I was before. Why look at the giant screen? Because it's so much bigger and nicer and prettier. And HD. That's why. Okay. I like those levels. They're fun. They're short compared to some of the other levels. Wow. Collected 140 coins. Don't really need to, but thanks. So got all three diamonds on the first try. Let's go to the Sinister Street signs. Wow, that sounds threatening. Because, you know, streets are safe enough that you need signs to be sinistering. Which is a verb now. Yep, I thought there might be an invisible path right there. Whoa. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on? That was just a bad perspective. I could not grok what was happening. I like how the birds are just sitting on nothing as well. That has to go that way. Okay. And down. Ah, well, see, that was easy. Why can't we do that more often? Is there a path over here? No. So I need to go through that torture that I just went through. Or I can go this way. 
and get this diamond. Love it. And then go this way. Yeah, so it does always end up back here, which is terrifying. Where is that third? Oh, I already have three diamonds? Okay. Wait, why is this different? Why is nothing chasing me this time? How do I get over there? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I'm small. I'm big. I'm invincible. Ah! Okay. I'm up here. Let's let's go for round two. Let's see where the path takes me now. Because this moved, right? Oh! It's a slide. I slid. Down. Ow. Oh, okay. What is that? Looks like a wanted sign. But I can't see for who. Okay, so three diamonds and a gold star. Yay! Pink. What was the bonus? Defeat all of the mud troopers? Oh, those are the things that aren't the Chuck football guys. Football Chuck? I don't remember his name. Bonus! I wonder if Toadette has different bonus levels from Toad. Best coin run zero. Probably different then. But this guy sometimes gives you a mushroom, which is 10 coins right off the bat. Thank you. So let's see what happens here. This looks new. Whoops. Wow, I was really bad at that. That's like 100 coins less than I'm used to. I've never gotten that particular challenge before. So let us continue on our way. Onward, Toadette. That means that's the end of this chapter and the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching YouTube channel GameBits. My name is Ken Gagney. I've been playing Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Nintendo Wii U. Having a blast! So glad I got this game and so sorry that I went a month without playing it. What a crazy month that was. It won't happen again, so stay tuned for more Captain Toad.